Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video, we are going to be looking at the February 1-Up box. So if you guys aren't familiar, 1-Up box is a themed mon monthly subscription box and you pay a little bit of money each month and you get roughly twice that amount supposedly MSRP in the box. Uh, generally, for any of the boxes, that's not really the case. I mean, MSRP is probably way too high. I look at it that if you get what you paid out of it, then that's okay. So, that's the way I do it. You can sign up on a single month basis, or you can sign up for many months at a time. You save a little bit of money that way. It's up to you. If you're interested in checking it out, there is a link in the description below. It's totally up to you. I'm going to let you know if this box is any good. You guys know... I, I keep it real here. I'm not going to tell you it's good just because they send them to me. We're going to take a look and be honest about what's inside. I've heard some people don't do that. So they are themed. I don't know what the theme is. I, I never remember what the theme is. Uh, it seems like we get a Suicide Squad item in every box no matter what, and that is true. Uh, it's not an actual thing, but it seems to be a thing. So we have a Mystery Mini... What is it? It's a Funko. So it's like a mini pop. Is that, is that a thing they do now? I guess it is. So anyway, we're going to open it up. And we're going to see if we can figure out what the theme is. Last time, I could not figure it out. This time, we're going to see if I can. Every box comes with a shirt, by the way. So if the shirt's good, I say this every time, but I think it's true. If the shirt's good, for 20 buck box, I think you're pretty much in the clear. Because good shirts generally cost around like 10 or 15 anyway. So... Anything else is going to be, it's going to equal up to five bucks, most likely. It's a rule of thumb, not always necessarily the case. So let's see. I wonder if we have a chance for getting any of them. Which one should I want to get? I'm thinking I would rather have the uh, masked Deathstroke or maybe the Joker down there in the corner or maybe the Harley up top. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Definitely the Harley up top. Not the, not the stripper Harley. That's no good. So it comes in a, in a box with no window, and then it's in a solid black bag. Very spooky, mysterious. The head's round. What options do we have? It could be Diablo, or it could be Death, Death, Deathstroke, Deadshot. Wow, I should just know the names. It feels to me like, oh, nope, he's got hair. No, I bet money. I bet money I got uh, Rick Flagg, and I don't like Rick Flagg at all. He's about the most boring character ever. Damn it. Damn it all to heck. Got Rick Flag. Don't want that. Oh well. That's a bummer. Oh well. If you got a better one and you got a one-up box, or if you got a one-up box and got a better one, let me know which one you got and which one you would have liked to have. I'm bummed out. Oh well. I don't care about Funkos anyway, but it would have been nice. Well, is this another mystery item? It's a mystery. It's even got question marks on it, so it's probably Mario themed. I'm guessing. Could be Jeopardy. They have questions. Let's see. So, first one was Suicide Squad. This one is Nintendo. Oh, cool, it's a tie. And I don't wear ties anymore because I work for myself out of my house and I don't need to. But I got a tie last week, or last month, in some box. I don't remember which one. And now we get another one, and this is a Mario-themed one. That's awesome. Or just Nintendo, maybe? It's probably not licensed. Let's see, is it licensed? Not licensed, so let's see what's on here, actually. It's kind of a skinny tie. I'm not big on skinny ties, especially for a large person. We have a Shy Guy, the Squid. Uh, it is all Mario-themed, huh? Goombas, the Fish. I can't remember the Fish's name. The Spikey. I don't remember all their names, but it's, uh, it's a cool tie, nonetheless. Get, can you guys see that? Hopefully, if it'll focus. Come on, there it is. Yeah. So I could see people wearing that. If you want to be a little geeky, maybe it's a little over the top. I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. I probably will never wear it, but uh, if I ever need to wear a tie, I have a cool tie to wear. So that's awesome. That's a couple of dollars of value right there. Every crate comes... Oh, this isn't the pin. I thought this was the pin. Look, another Suicide Squad item that I could never use because I'm a man, and this is like a little chibi Harley Quinn. It looks like this is a luggage tag. So for all of you females out there who are nerdy at all, this would be awesome because I could see this going through the airport for sure. But uh, not me. I can't use that. I'm just because I'm a guy. It's because I'm a dude, and people would look at me funny if I used that. 
This one, it's an unlike. You get a lot of these in the one up box. I don't know if you like stickers of unlicensed things. That's cool. If you don't, it's not so cool. But they're generally kind of focus. Come on. They're generally kind of cool. So if you like stickers, there you go. If you don't like stickers, not worth anything. Let's see what the pin says. Okay, so it gives away the uh, the the thing, the theme. The theme is enemy. So we have our little panda guy on there, which is their mascot. Then we have like a cat or a fox. So there's a pin inside every box. You get a sleeve, a slip of paper that tells you what's in the box. We don't look at those because it spoils the T-shirt. Let's see, is the shirt licensed? If the shirt's licensed, we're we're doing well. If it's not licensed, not so much. It's not licensed. But, but I like it anyway. It's Batman and smiley faces. I guess that, oh, that's Joker. That's like animated Joker. <gasps> I like this shirt even more. Sweet. That's nice, because that's Batman on the top there. And then that's animated looking Joker with ha ha ha's. All right. I can get behind that shirt. And we got the tie. That's probably enough right there. What else do we get? The chibi thing. Uh, the vinyl, the Funko thing, so I guess if you're into that, that's cool. And then the luggage tag, that's kind of cool, I guess. And then the sticker. So, yeah, again, it's a neutral. It's an eh, not bad, not good. I don't know, one up box seems to be always right around the middle. I don't think I've been super disappointed ever. I don't know if I've ever been thoroughly excited, though. So, do it on a monthly basis. Don't do it, like, for multiple months. Make sure you like the theme ahead of time. They do tell you, I just don't pay attention to it. So you can check it out. Use the link in the description if you want to. If not, I get it. It's it's pretty just okay. You're not going to be disappointed, but you're not going to be excited. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That would help me out a whole bunch. Probably should turn on notifications. Click that little bell so you can see more videos. I have new videos up every single day. And in the meantime, keep collecting.